Okay, so today we're going to take another look at uh, 10 Chinese questions with da ra wei xia structure. Okay. Uh, so basically, da ra wei xia, this one, da and rao. Together, they mean like, excuse me. Mm, can I disturb you? Because da means uh, kind of like to hit, and this rao actually means like to disturb. Okay. Uh, and then they have yixia, yixia. Uh, yixia means like a little bit. Okay. Da rao yixia. Excuse me. Uh, let's take another look. Uh, there's another question here. Daro Isia Jeli Yoren Ma Again Dara Isia Jeli Yoren Ma Okay, so the question here, excuse me. Is there anyone here? Again, uh Dara Isia here and Jeli Yoren Ma Jeli here and Yo to have Ren people and Ma it's a particle, a question particle, okay. Another question Dara Wisha. 你知道现在几点呢? Again, 打扰一下, 你知道现在几点呢? Uh, just remember, because you have two third tones here, you should change the first third tone to the second one. So it will be like this when you pronounce it. Okay. Uh, and it's pronounced like da rao. But if you have, uh, let's say you say and you you say it with a kind of like a break here, so we, separately it will be like da means to hit and rao to disturb. But together again, da rao. Okay, da rao xia. You know. 现在几点呢? So again, excuse me. Uh, 你, you, 知道, to know. Uh, 现在, 现在, same as 正在, but 现在 it's more a uh, natural way to ask now. And then we have Ji, but again we have uh, two third tones here, so we need to change it a bit, like Ji Jian, Ji Jian, Ji Jian. Okay. So Ji means uh, how many or how much, and Jian means time. And well, the yeah, end actually in this context it means mm, uh, it's it's actually a point point of time, okay. And no, it's a final particle to make the question a bit mm, how to say it? maybe like more natural, a bit more uh, softer, okay. Uh, another one. 打扰一下,我们应该认识了。Again. 打扰一下,我们应该认识了。Again, excuse me here. And 我们, it's 我, 
me and men together means uh, we in guy in guy okay means shoot uh like to recognize to know okay and la it's uh, this this here is like a particle of uh, something which probably happened or it, it can also be like a change of state but uh, this la actually emphasize that you already uh, know the person okay so again woman in guy okay next one Darawisha你可以帮我一个忙 Excuse me. Nikoi Yu Ni Koi. Remember to change it here. Remember this one. Koi. When you pronounce uh, with two third tones, it will be Koi. Okay. Means uh, can. Uh, bang to help or me uh, one then ke. it's a classifier for mang it's actually a favor okay again Darawisha ni kei Okay, next one. Darawisha ni kei gewo chegama. Okay. Darawisha here and ni yu kei. Okay. Okay. It's a bit difficult sentence because you have so many third tones, but I think it's a good exercise uh, because, in my opinion, when you study Chinese, you will probably have difficulties with uh, those third tones. Okay. Uh, okay. Wo means me. Zhe. Uh, this. This is zhe. Uh, and there is classifier for something. Uh, it can be subject. It can be. Yeah, usually it's a subject, something. Okay, and ma, it's a question mark or question particle, I would say. Okay. Darawisha ni kei gewo. Okay, next one. Darawisha ni shu woda lunjuma. Again, Darawisha ni shu woda lunjuma. Again, Darawisha, excuse me, ni yu shu to be. Or me or mine and mine together with the uh, this the particle okay because it will be like mine Linju Linju actually means neighbor uh, or somebody who lives uh, near you okay but it's actually neighbor and again you have ma which is a final particle here 
Okay, let's uh, read the sentence one more time. Uh, 打扰一下, 你是我的邻居吗? Okay, so this is about, excuse me, are you my neighbor? Uh, let's take a look at another one here. Uh, 打扰一下, 请告诉我, and this one is a uh, kind of similar sentence we previously uh, took a look, but this time it's a bit more different because we include this one. Uh, we really want to make it more polite. And we also include this one. Gaosu actually means to answer or to tell actually it's to tell Gaosu. again we have Daraisha Gaosu Okay So this one Ching Please tell me. Uh, now, it's now. Uh, Again, remember to change down here and here in the beginning. Okay. Uh, so it will be like uh, but again, if you read it, and I read it separately, GE means how much, how many, the N uh, time, or actually it's a point, and N makes sentence even more uh, softer. Okay, uh, let's read it once, one more time. Uh, Okay, so it's, uh, excuse me, please tell me what time is it? Okay, next one. Uh, 打扰一下, 不要说话, 请准备, okay, uh, 打扰一下, 不要说话, 请准备讲座开始 Okay, this sentence is a bit more difficult, but again, it's uh, pretty useful. Again, we have uh, 打扰一下 here and 不要说话 and here you have uh, 不 and 要 Uh, just remember because we have four uh, this pool it's a bit special one because this one has a uh, four stone okay it goes down and you have Yao uh, also go goes down so you should change it to Buyao like this okay Buyao Shuhua okay just remember if you read it separately, it will be like "bu," but together with "yao," it will be "bu yao." Okay. Uh, so "shuo hua" means to speak, and "bu yao" it means uh, don't need or together it will be like "don't talk." Okay. Uh, then we have. 请, please. 准备. Okay. Please. 准备. Uh, 准备, prepare. Uh, 讲座, 讲. 座, 
means so it has like to sit and this this one means lecture jiang zuo kai shi kai means to open shi to start okay so it means start kai shi okay so again uh da rao yi xia bu yao shuo hua uh qing zhun bei jiang zuo kai shi so it will be excuse me don't talk please prepare the lecture begins okay next one uh da rao yi xia zhe li shi bu shi jiao han yu de ke Okay, we have uh da rao yi xia. Okay. Here. Um excuse me. Okay. Uh zhe li. Zhe, zhe li here. Uh shi bu shi. But this shi. And again, you have uh this bu just remember to change it to second tone when you pronounce it but again if you pronounce it uh separately so you will pronounce it with the fourth tone like bu uh, but in this particular case you should change it because you have shi after this so it will be like shi bu shi Okay, uh, jiao to teach han yu han. It's uh, uh, it means uh, uh, han Chinese people and yu. Uh, it means language. Okay, it's a uh, Chinese language and the ke. Okay, the means uh, it's a particle, which means this k means uh, class. This class is a Chinese class. Okay, so excuse me, is this a Chinese class? Okay. Well, that was everything, and I think you can understand much better what uh, Dara Isha means and how you can use it. So thank you for watching and please like this short presentation and yes, please subscribe and see you next time.